Welcome to our webinar, How to Experience More Energy, Better Sleep, Less Pain, and Reduce Your Risk of Cancer and Disease by Remediating the EMFs in Your Life. This webinar is for you if you want to experience more energy. So many people are walking around now with such low energy. Chronic fatigue syndrome, no energy to do anything. Could they be caused by EMFs? They often are. Better sleep. This is a big one. People are struggling with sleep more and more. I have more and more patients that just can't fall asleep or they can't stay asleep or they get up in the middle of the night or they get up a couple times in the night and they just can't get into that real deep sleep. A lot of times that's caused by EMFs. Less anxiety and stress. This is a big one. When your room is filled with uh, EMF exposure, it just puts you on edge. It creates more stress in the body. There's proven documented research that it creates stress and anxiety. So there are some people that are loaded with anxiety medications. That's really not the solution. EMS may be a major cause of anxiety. And then more confidence that you're lowering your risk of cancer, heart disease, high blood pressure, and Alzheimer's. I can't tell you how many people are suffering from all these major, major diseases. I just discovered uh, recently that a very close uh, person that I know uh, was diagnosed with a cancer. They found this large tumor in their body. And it's just, this, it's so disturbing. And so many people don't even realize the cancer causing effects that EMFs have on the body. So if you're in any of these categories, this webinar is for you. Now imagine if you can wave a magic wand and get into the deepest sleep every night and wake up rejuvenated every morning. I'm telling you, when you get your house remediated and the EMFs problem is taken care of, this is one of the first things that people notice. They just get into a real deep sleep, a that deep REM sleep, and then they wake up rejuvenated in the morning, ready to go. It's amazing. Also, have more energy to exercise, work, or play. Again, no energy, you can't really have a high quality life just because you have no energy to do anything. When you're energized, you are going to be able to exercise, work, and play way more effectively. And then have a bulletproof immune system. This is a big one that people don't even put two and two together that the, the EMF problem in their life is reducing and lowering their immune system. And that's just because what it, what it does, which I'm going to be talking about here on this webinar. Now, also, if you are loaded with EMS, you're not going to be able to think clearly. Your memory is going to be affected. Your ability to concentrate, your ability to formulate words and thoughts and ideas. All of this is affected if EMFs are a problem in your room or office or where you spend the most time. And also improve your health overnight. I, I can't tell you, once you take care of this EMF problem, it's like for some people it's immediate. It's immediate. Some people, they, you remediate their home and they don't notice any different, but it doesn't matter because it's working. It's helping their body. And over time, just like you have chronic exposure to EMFs, chronic de-stressing de of EMFs, you're gonna notice a huge change in your health. It may not be overnight, it may be over a process of time, but it's gonna be amazing what happens when you take care of this EMF problem. People just aren't aware. Now all this is possible if you listen closely to what I'm sharing with you in this webinar here today. On the contrary, not doing what I'm about to say inevitably causes accumulated cellular damage to your body. Who wants that? When EMFs are constantly bombarding your body, it's damaging your cells and DNA to a, a point where it can create some major health problems here for you. And it dramatically accelerates your aging process. You break down the DNA, you're gonna, you're gonna age much quicker, much quicker than you should be. And this is what's associated with the health problem. You just are, you, you decay faster with the EMA, EMS. It's been proven with mold. Your, Dr. Klingar demonstrated that your mold grows 600 times more rapidly in an EMF bombarded environment. And there's studies to prove it. I'm gonna show that to you at the end of the, uh, towards the end of the webinar. And then it increases your risk for chronic disease, including cancer, heart disease, and neurological conditions. Why the neuro why neurology? If you've done any, taken any courses in anatomy, you understand, or physics, 
you understand that we're electrical beings. If I can touch the tip of my finger and feel it in my brain instantly, it's because there's electrons that run through. Well, what is this? Electromagnetic frequency, hello. The bombardment of EMFs are gonna affect your neurology. This is why people struggle with dementia, memory issues. EMFs have been associated with Alzheimer's and all types of conditions that they have not even identified yet. Now, how can I make these claims that I just shared here with you? Well, there's over 10,000 studies to prove the harmful effects of EMFs. And also, just through my clinical and personal experience, I've been practicing for 27 years, I can tell you firsthand, when people really address the EMF issues in their life, huge shift in their health, huge shift. And then personally, my personal own personal experience with EMFs. I've been studying this for like 20 years. I've tried everything under the sun. And I've discovered, once, uh, I, once I remediated my home and discovered uh, the, the proper way to do it, oh my goodness, it's night and day for myself, my health, and my family. And I'm gonna be sharing that with you right now. Now, why should you listen to me? Well, I became a chiropractor so I could help others. I uh, played football in high school. I got injured. I didn't think I was gonna play. And I went to, my first chiropractor made me worse. Went to another chiropractor, changed my life. Changed my life, okay? If you had a bad chiropractic experience, by the way, or a bad mechanic experience, you, you don't throw, you, say, you throw the baby out with the bathwater. You just find someone that's gonna be a fit for you. Well, this one chiropractor, I was so inspired, I decided to become a chiropractor. So I, I went from a, a C student in high school to a straight A student in, in college. I graduated top of my class, voted most likely to succeed. I was on fire to cure the world. But when I got out of practice, I struggled. I, I wasn't able to help people the way that I thought I was going to. And then I moved from Ohio to practice in California to open up my own practice. And I said, if I'm gonna be able to provide for my family, I have to start, I gotta start getting results. So I invested over $100,000 in continuing education courses and thousands of hours in study. And over time I've developed a technique called the Taylor Method. It's, a, it's, a, it's an amazing method to get to the root cause of people's problems. And it's more of an intuitive type chiropractic. And uh, even though we did that though, there were still mystery cases. There were patients that still weren't getting any better. And we tried everything and I tried everything. I said, what, what is going on? There's still something missing. There's still something missing. You know what that missing link was? EMFs, EMFs, hands down. Now, over the past 20 years, I've struggled though with trying to find a solution for EMFs. I, I tried all types of gimmicks. I've given patients magnets. Of, hey, try this device, this geographic, geometric uh, design here. Stick it on your phone, stick it on. And I've, I've even spent, done all this type of shielding. I spent almost $20,000 on my own personal home to re remediate the EMFs. It still wasn't a solution. And on top of that, just the EMF problems had just become worse with the rollout of 5G, satellites in space, more technology, this whole quarantine, everybody's home, everybody's on their iPads, their cell phones, their computers, just the bombardment has, I've seen just dramatic shift even the past couple of months with my patients. New conditions, weird conditions that they never had before. And a lot of these are tied in with EMFs. And then, so I've done more studies, I've done more research on EMFs than I ever have in all my life. And recently I've discovered a new method of remediating EMFs that has phenomenal and has Finally, I feel been the answer to the EMF issue, and I'm gonna be sharing that with you towards the end of the seminar. So why am I teaching this? Well, patients are suffering from EMFs, and they have no clue. They have no clue. I had a, a patient come in last week from Yelp. She had all this pain. I said, this is tied in with EMF. She says, what's an EMF? They have no clue. This is why I'm doing this webinar. People are, need to be informed. They, they need to be educated on this. The more educated you are, the more you're gonna be able to solve this problem in your life. And so people are clueless. And doctor means teacher. And I wanna be able to prevent what I teach. If I can prevent what I teach, so people don't have to come in, I've done my job. I've done my job. And then I wanna be able to help patients who are suffering with EMFs and it's been like a mystery. They've been, they've been, they have no clue what's been causing their problem. And be able to give them hope 
and give them answers is so rewarding, it's unbelievable. And yet there's also people I know that are being bombarded and affected by EMFs and they have no clue or they may have no symptoms yet. Just because you don't have any symptoms from the EMF problem in your life, that doesn't mean there's not a problem there, right? I could have a cavity deforming in my to tooth and it's, it's getting deeper, it's getting deeper, it's getting deeper. I have no pain, but then all of a sudden, boom, the dam breaks, the threshold point, the tipping point hits. And now I'm like, ah, oh, I'm in pain, I gotta call the dentist, but too bad my dentist is not open right now. <laughs> but you call, then you're like, I have a problem. Well, I'm here because you may have be having a problem right now. It just hasn't gotten to that point of pain where you start to experience the problem. But if you don't take care of the EMFs, you will have damage to your health in some way, shape or form. How that manifests? It just depends on where the weakness is in your body. So if I can prevent this, if you can just, if it can just open up the eyes of some people, happy day. I'm happy that I did this webinar then. The question is, are you willing to do what it takes to protect you and your family from the damaging effects of EMS? What good is all this knowledge and information if you don't do anything about it? So I hope you take action uh, when, in regards to just following some of these principles. Some of these principles, it's not gonna cost you a thing. All you have to do is just follow some of these principles that I'm gonna be sharing. So what are you gonna learn? Well, you're gonna learn what are EMFs, what health problems do they cause, and what you can do from being harmed by them. Now, for those of you that love more detail, this is my entire web, I got a perfect slide for you, here it is. This is the entire webinar right here in one slide. I'm gonna talk about what are EMFs, where do EMFs come from? Okay, so, okay, now I know what an EMF is. Okay, where do they come from? This is important to know. And then is there proof EMFs are harmful? I've heard that there, there's, there's no proof. I've heard people say that's a bunch of hogwash. Well, is there proof? We'll talk about that. And then why aren't people aware that if this is such a big problem, Dr. Taylor, why aren't people aware of the dangers of EMS? Why isn't this broadcasted on the news? How come my doctor's not telling me about this? How come my physician or health coach or trainer or why isn't anybody talking about this? We'll talk about that. And then how do EMS damage your body? Okay, if you say it does, well, how does it, how does it actually do it? We'll talk about that as well. And then I'm gonna jump into what health problems do EMFs cause? There are a myriad of health problems. And then what you can do from being harmed by EMFs. This is, this is where you start to get an application the most important. And the, the first part of it, you gotta identify the major sources of EMFs in your home or office. Not all EMFs are created equal. There are some that are worse than others. At least handle the major ones. And then how to reduce the EMF exposure that you're constantly bombarded with. And then you have two options. You can unplug or disconnect or rearrange things in your house. For example, if your bed is right by a major EMF source, you might have to rearrange the room a little bit so it's not there. Or you, you know, we'll talk about unplugging and disconnecting. That's, this is what you could do. It won't cost you absolutely uh, one dime to do this and it can make the biggest difference. Also, if you are want to take it to the next level and you do have a health challenge and you, you realize, hey, I got to get this fixed, you need to remediate. Now there's two schools of thought with remediating. There's shielding and harmonizing. And I'm going to tell you right up front, all the so-called experts are talking about shielding. You got to shield. You got to paint your room with metal paint. You have to get these devices that you plug into your outlets. You have to wear, get these uh, canopies, those Faraday bags and ca uh, canopies over your bed. And you, you got to block the, sh the, the, the EMFs from coming into your life. That's one school of thought. I am not, I, I used to promote that. I used to uh, tout that. I, again, I spent almost $20,000, hired the, must, the best consultants to do that. But I found a better way now. It's through harmonizing. It's through harmonizing. Now, these experts that talk about shielding, they're gonna say harmonizing is a bunch of fooey, it doesn't work. Well, <laughs> I totally disagree. Because they have their linear mindset, this is how, this is the science and this is how you prove it. The, with the harmonizing, it's a whole different approach. It's a whole different philosophy. It's kind of like this whole COVID crisis, right? I'm gonna shield, I'm gonna block, I'm gonna wear a mask, I'm gonna protect myself, I'm gonna stay 10 feet away from, six feet away from everybody. You know, we weren't doing any of this a, a, a couple of months, up until a couple of months, and we were exposed to horrible virus. You know the flu virus? 
Last year, it was like one of the worst cases of flu, and this year was on record for the good, just because, because of the increasing cases that they were anticipating already. And if we didn't know anything about this, this thing would have blown over people. It's not about shielding so much. Is shielding good? Yes. I still believe in shielding. I still shield at my home in a certain degree. But the real key is harmonizing. The real key is if you want to get rid of, you don't need to worry about viruses, build your immune system. Build your health up. Strengthen your body. Get things harmonized in your body so you can handle it. You're exposed to viruses all the time. I, I, I'm taking, you, you can take, you can take the right supplements, you can get your vitamin D, you can exercise, you can have the right mindset, to have mindfulness practices, pray, meditate, be in the right harmony so you're at peace, so you can be exposed to any virus, your immune system's gonna handle that. And that's the, pro, the principle that we're using here with taking care of EMFs. It's about harmonizing, harmonizing. So two different schools of thought, two different schools of thought. And so I'm gonna be sharing both, both with you. But there's my whole, Seminar, all in one slide for those of you that like detail. Now let's jump into the first one, what are EMFs? Well, they're invisible areas of energy, often referred to as radiation, that are associated with the use of electrical power. How's that for a mouthful? You know what it is? It's radiation. EMFs are radiation. And we know that radiation damages your DNA. There's a study proven by, Dr., uh, by Professor Ger uh, a German professor Franz Adelkoffer, who discovered that DNA damage from x-ray is just the same as DNA damage from EMFs. They're both damaging, uh, they're both having a damaging effect on the DNA. In fact, he spent, there was a ton of money invested in this study. He discovered that there's 1600 chest x-rays. Uh, that's the amount of radiation you're getting with a 24 hour use, cell phone use uh, that you have in a day. If you break that down, every hour, every, every minute that you're on your cell phone, that's like a chest x-ray. It's like a chest x-ray. That's scary. That's how much radiation, that's how much radiation you're exposed to when you're using your cell phone unprotected. Uh, uh, Barry Trower, you just gotta watch this video. It's an awesome, I'm not gonna play, I wasn't gonna play this, but I'm going on a rant, so I, I wanna be respectful of your time. Check this link out, check him out. He talks about the major damages of EMF on your, but he can, he, he'll explain it all. Uh, largest cell phone study, will cost over $25 million, over a decade long, just concluded in 2018, performed by government agencies to prove that cell phones were harmless. They were using 2G and 3G cell phone frequency. You know what the conclusion was? Significant increase in brain and heart cancer in animals exposed to EMFs. They tried to prove it was wrong, that there was, no, there was nothing wrong with EMFs, and they discovered instead that it causes cancer. And this is 2G and 3G technology. 4G and 5G is 10 times, 100 times worse than 2G and 3G. Imagine what it's causing in your body. Cell phone damage is, again, over 10,000 studies. Here, here's a few of long-term use of cell phones associated with glioma brain tumors. Glioma brain tumors, it damages the cells. Increased risk of ALS with exposure to EMF. Remember I told you about uh, neurological conditions? You're gonna be higher risk for ALS with exposure to EMFs. Lack of attention and concentration with cell. These are just, just not, but a few sprinklings of, of problems that occur with, with cell phone damage. You can look just about any condition and probably find a link to EMFs with the problem. So if you were to, if you, if, if you knew that your cell phone was kicking out x-ray radiation, would you be using it as much as you would? Uh-uh, you wouldn't. You would use it when you need to. You'd put it on airplane mode or put the, put the metal shield on your phone when you're not using it and when you're using it, then you, but people are, have this thing glued to them all day long. It's never on airplane mode. They don't, some people don't even turn it on, put the airplane mode on at night. And this, the cell phone is just constantly bombarding their body, their, their uh, cells, tissues with EMF exposure, which is radiation and equivalent to x-ray radiation. So where do EMFs come from? Well, five basic sources, electrical fields, magnetic fields, power lines, metal plumbing, and wireless communications, which is the biggest one 
that you and I are experiencing because of all of the wireless technology we have in our homes. But let's break down each one. Electric fields, anything voltage, anything electric, your lamps, your, dish, uh, your dishwasher, your washing machine, anything with outlets, extension cords, electrical appliances, power outlets, all of these are uh, major electric fields that are created in your home from these. Magnetic fields, outside overhead power lines, electric motors in your refrigerators constantly oscillating, that's a magnet, major magnetic field that's created. Breaker panels, meters, not just smart meters, but dumb meters, the old analog, that's kicking out magnetic fields. Imbalanced electrical wiring, this is a big one. M most people are living in homes where the wiring is done incorrectly. And I'm not talking about the last owner that Jimmy rigged it himself because he was too cheap to pay an electrician, but even professional electricians, if they don't understand the principles of bioengineering, like I spent a fortune for this, this well-known, world-renowned bioengineer to come to my house and teach me how to do the shielding and, and he, he gave me advice. I took all his advice, which was great. I, I put everything in metal plan. He showed me how to set, how to affect it with, with ground and everything else. And I didn't realize how bad my wiring was in my house. And most people are lying. All of this is kick, kicking out EMFs for them. And it's electric currents running in uh, grounded metal pipes, in metal pipes. In your, in, in, if you have copper piping, galvanized steel, that's creating a current. Uh, power lines above ground, underground, both of them, man, major source, major source of EMS. Again, the metal piping, copper, uh, there's currents that run through that metal. Any type of metal is like a, a conductivity of electricity of EMFs to the rest of your home, creating major issues for people. And then wireless communications, this is huge, this is huge. Smart meters, cell phones, 5G cell towers, now, as you've seen on your way to Arizona, you've seen them discovered in hid hidden in cactuses or in California, these palm trees. But now they're getting slicker. They're putting it, look at the bottom pictures. They're putting it on uh, uh, light poles in your neighborhood. Check it out. They're, they're more hidden, they're more slick. They're more or less obtrusive. Their goal is to put one of these like every 500 meters, every neighborhood, every major city block, all these things just 500 meters apart, they want to have these 5G cell towers and it's going to be major destruction to people's health. In fact, there's so many groups that are trying to fight this right now and there's no, people aren't even aware of this. We're so distracted by this, the COVID virus, which is, has a death rate of 0.1% and instead we have a much bigger issue with this EMFs, uh, 5G cell towers are trying to roll out with the satellites and uh, wireless routers. Wireless routers, cordless phones. I remediated this couple's home uh, last week. They had five cordless, a cordless phone in each room. In each room, the living room, kitchen, bedroom, bedroom there. And, uh, they have them everywhere. And this is kicking out major EMFs. And then the satellites, the wireless satellites. You know, in Wuhan, they were touting, in Wuhan, China, they were bragging about how they were one of the first cities to incorporate 5G. And they weren't just using 5G for their wireless technology. They were trying to do it for electric cars that they can control, people's appliances in their home, their dishwashers, their refrigerator, all these things. And look what happened. Look how much more susceptible they were to, to death and to problems here with this whole EMF. And one thing, they also have one of the lowest hanging satellites. This just wipes out your immune system. And you combine, you, what happens is it affects your DNA, right? It weakens your DNA. And then this coronavirus affected what? The RNA. So you got the DNA weakened, you got the RNA weakened. It's a perfect storm for major health problems and issues. But you have to look beyond and beyond just the virus. Your body can handle the virus, but if you're constantly, your DNA is totally wiped out because of the EMFs, you're going to be more susceptible to having problems with this virus. So is there proofs EMFs are harmful? Yes, there is. 10, 000, over 10,000 studies proving the EMF, harmful effects of EMFs. At this website, www.bioinitiative.org, we see over 4,000 studies of the 10,000 at that site. It's a great site. What I love about this is where researchers, scientists come together, no financial gain, they're not selling anything. They're just trying to make people aware, make humanity, save humanity, and it all talks about, they have no agenda. 
when like when a drug company does a quote unquote research to see if if this works or this works they have an agenda okay they're trying to prove that their drug is working or this 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 non-accepted uh form of cancer therapy or whatever is not effect this it's so th these people there's no motive check it out it's a great and then emfs have been labeled a carcinogen they've been labeled a carcinogen it's in fact there's more known about emfs than there is about smoking as far as the damaging effects of it to your health in fact in 2004 the world health organization created a new medical term called electromagnetic hypersensitivity ehs what are the common symptoms headaches again it's like a clamp on your brain when you have the EMF. Concentration difficulties, sleep problems. So many people, like I said, have problems with sleep. Depression, lack of energy, fatigue, and even flu-like symptoms. Flu-like symptoms. Can we see the, the connection of what's going on and why the flu season was like at its worst like last year and then on record to be at, uh, make record even uh, more worse for this year? Is the answer really shutting the world down for four months or more? Shutting down, can't watch Mar March Madness? So the, the NBA is closed, baseball season is closed? Is it really, we're gonna stand six feet apart for the rest of our lives? No, the that's not the answer. You have to look at a deeper cause. You have to look at a deeper. These EMFs are causing a lot of this and nobody's talking about it. Nobody's talking about it. So. If this is so bad, Dr. Taylor, why aren't people aware of the dangers of EMFs? Well, they are. Over 40 other countries already have federal laws banning Wi-Fi in schools, nurseries, and in, in sensitive public areas. India, Belgium, Australia, Germany, Austria, France. All these areas, all these school, uh, these countries have already banned it. They know the, the dangers of EMFs and 5G. In fact, Brussels became the first major city to ban G, 5G for health reasons. What about the United States? Well, what's the problem? Wireless industries spend over $100 million a year lobbying Congress so that the laws are very lax. In fact, the FDA safe level, based on the studies, is 10 microwatts per meter squared. You know what the FDA's? I mean, this is what scientists, I'm take that back. Scientists say the safe levels for EMFs as far as keeping your exposure, 10 microwatts meter per meter squared. You know what the FDA says? 10 million. 10 million microwatts per meter squared is now safe. Whoa. Come on, does the FDA really have our best interests in mind? Really? I don't think so. Wireless communication, that's the wave of the future. Hey, we gotta get faster. I wanna be able to download this movie in 30 seconds or less. Let's bust it out. The big thing is 5G, but it's, they're also coming up with 6G, 7G. They're using that right now. In fact, the military, I understand, is using 8 and 10G. 8 and 10G. What in the world is that going to do to our health? Think about it. So how do EMFs damage your body? Well, this is how, this is very important. I want you to listen to what I have to say here. EMFs are basically photons traveling the speed of light carrying energy in a waveform. Now, when EMFs are traveling like this, they don't cause any problem. And this is where the scientists and the research say, there's no way that EMFs could cause problem. You know what? They're absolutely right. They're right. I agree with them. When it's going like this in a waveform, in a single waveform, it's not creating problems. And you can't prove it. They've done studies. They're using their meters to check. And you know what? They're absolutely right. And this is why when people say, there's, that's a bunch of fooey. What the Dr. Taylor is saying is that EMFs don't cause any problems. I'm going to agree with them. Yeah, they are. They, they don't cause problems when, when they're in this waveform. However, however, what they're not telling you is when that EMF waveform hits a solid object, a wall, a metal, solar panel, roof, your floor, your window, your body, bang, smashing, vibrating, subatomic chaos creates. And now that nice harmonized waveform is boom. It's distributed all in ma massive ma uh, subatomic chaos, which just wreaks havoc on the health. Dr. Martin Paul discovered that what happens when the, you have that banging of the EMF into the cell, to the body, causing a subatomic chaos, the activated voltage gate calcium channels open up, the cell is flooded with calcium, which floods your cells with nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is awesome, but too much of it creates peroxynitrites, 
which creates more free radicals, oxidative stress, DNA damage. This is the science behind how EMFs damage your body. So what health problems do they cause? EMFs lower your energy. You just have low energy. Think about it. When your cells are bombarded, you're just trying to fight those EMFs. When your body's fighting the EMF problem, you don't have energy. You don't have energy to heal. You don't have energy to go out and play, to work, to think, to be productive. It majorly affects your energy levels. It also causes problems with your sleep. This is one of the biggest things that we see with EMF cause. Affects the pineal gland, which kicks out melatonin and affects your hormones. You can't sleep. And just the stress, when you're under constant stress, it's hard to sleep. What, what's it like when you're worried about something, you know, a big test the next day, or you just found out this major news and you're stressed. Do you sleep well? Mm -mm. When do you sleep? When you're relaxed. How can you be in a relaxed state when your body's constantly bombarded with EMFs? You can't. This is one of my patients. Like I was telling you, the, the, the issue with EMFs, I've been dealing with Vicky. She's one of my best patients. I've been seeing her for over 20 years. We have not been able to solve her sleep problem. But we, when we remediated her home, we finally got the missing link. Now she's able to sleep for the first time in 20 years. Amazing. This is what happens when you remediate the EMFs in your life. EMFs also inhibit your ability to think clearly and concentrate. How can you concentrate when your brain cells are being shooken and vibrating? You have all this subatomic chaos. You can't. So kids are going to school where there's tons of Wi-Fi and they can't concentrate. And the teacher said, your kids have ADD. You need to get them on Ritalin. You need to get them on this medication. And is that really the solution? Loading them up with medications so that they can think clearly? Why not remediate the EMFs? Why not take care of that? EMFs put you more at risk for infection and disease. It wipes out your immune system. Your immune system is trying to fight the EMFs. Instead, it's, instead of, uh, in, it's trying to fight the EMFs, and as a result, it can't fight the viruses that you're exposed to, or the bacteria, or the parasites, or the candida. In fact, Dr. Klingar, like I mentioned, did a study. He's brilliant, brilliant, Dr. Klingar. You can check him out on the web. He did a study 600 times more mold growing in, his, in an EMF environment. Why? Because you don't have an immune system. It's wiped out. It's trying to fight the EMFs. Come on now. EMFs increase your risk for cancer. Again, of those 10,000 studies, you're going to see more and more. This is one of the biggest ones, cancer. Cancer. Why is cancer so rare? One in two people are coming down with cancer. They say in the future, everybody's going to get some form of cancer. Okay? Especially, and then they start to roll out 6G and 7G, 8G. How can we, how can we not, what, you have to fight these EMFs that are destroying your body and it's attributed to cancer. You need, in this day and age, in this world that we're living in, you need every bit of energy to fight against every disease that's bombarding you and coming your way. EMFs are causing unexplained symptoms. I mean, I, people with bizarre symptoms, dizziness all the time. One of the big ones is I see is more and more prevalent is ringing in the ears. Ringing in the ears. There's so many studies, I've, I've, as I did my research, I've seen all these different studies with EMFs affecting the auditory potential through the brain stem, uh, affecting, causing acoustic neuromas. That's a tumor on the ear, on the nerve there. It's a tumor in the, in the, the nerves there in the inner ear. Those inner ear cells are so sensitive and so precious. They're like a delicate, fine china. And you start to bombard it with an EMF, the more delicate a cell is, the more harm can be done through an EMF. This is why children have twice as much damage to DNA when they're exposed to EMFs. This is why that Barry Trower video was talking about uh, when a woman is pregnant, if she's carrying a female baby in her uterus, those eggs from the EMFs are damaging are being damaged by EMS, making her sterile. So she's not gonna be able to have kids 30 years later on. This is how horrible these EMS are, are creating as far as, and so these specialized cells, young cells, replicating cells, are more at prone for problems. This is why people are coming now with, it's ringing in the air they can't get rid of, and it drives them nuts. 
A lot of times it's caused by EMFs. And look, holding your people, having your phone here, but you don't have to be holding, you say, some people say, well, I never hold my, I know that, because they know, but just having it at this level, and everybody talking with their phone at this level, all those EMFs penetrating right in these delicate cells, the ears, you have to have protection. And is there any wonder if it affects the ear? The, the, how about the brain tissue? The brain cells, they're very delicate. Is there any reason why those, we understand those cells now are starting to be damaged, oxidative stress, free radicals, destroying brain cells, now you can't think? Now you can't even remember your name? Now you can't remember who your spouse was? Alzheimer's is huge. And a lot of it is caused by EMFs. There's proof with that. Now, what can you do from being harmed by EMFs? Well. First, you need to identify the major sources in, 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 your, in your home, in your office, in your, where you spend your most time, libraries, even public transport, schools, and hospitals. Wow, hospitals, think about that. When was the last time you went to go visit somebody in the hospital or you went it yourself? Think about all that technology that you were exposed to. This is incredibly sophisticated technology. And this is bombarding people's health wearing that bed, making them even weaker, making them more susceptible. This is, what, this is why I have patients that I hate going to the hospital. One of the reasons, when you're in an EMF loaded room, you don't want to be there. If you walk into, I can walk into a house and I can sense, uh, there's so, so many stuff. it's like, oh man, you can feel the presence of EMFs when you start to pay attention to this stuff. But EMFs are creating major damage into your, in your body. This is why you have to look at your home, your office. So what about your own personal home? What about your own personal home? Well, you gotta look at the circuit breaker, electrical panel, that's a major source of EMF. That needs to be remediated. Your Wi-Fi router, your extenders, your boosters. <laughs> I have some people that go to their house, they, I don't get cell reception over here, so I got a booster over here, I got an extender over here, and they're just like hit, been hit from all areas. Horrible on their house. Solar panels are a big one. I love the fact, I love solar energy. I love the fact that it saves money. It saves the environment as far as, you know, regards to not using up so much electricity. However, that's a major magnet and major source of EMS. Major source of EMS. Uh, cell phone, laptop, iPad, tablets, Alexa. How many people have this Alexa? Hey, Alexa, play this. Or, hey, Alexa, do that. All that is, how does that get to Alexa? Through wireless. You're creating more electric smog in your home. Bluetooth is huge. When you you're wear, never wear a wireless device in your ear. That's like asking for ringing later on in the future or some type of neuroma or even associated with glioma or brain tumors. Or that, That's just bad news. Don't use a wireless heads in, uh, earphone in your ear. Smart meters. Now here's the thing about smart meters. For those that say you got a shield, for those that say you have to block, Try to tell them to do that with the smart meter. You won't see anything on a smart meter. It's the smart meter, you're not gonna see any EMFs kicking out on your Gauss meter or your little device that you can tell. But the major issue is the subatomic chaos that's created when that's all and that EMF is, is associated with that. And so uh, you have to look at the subatomic chaos, the damage, the secondary effects of these EMFs, power lines. Now you can measure that on a Gauss meter. You can measure that on a device. It kicks out some major source of, same with smart TVs, appliances, fans, air purifiers. Fans and, and, and as we get into the summer months, as it gets warmer, when you got a fan rotating, that's a major source of EMF. Or ceiling fans, that's a major source. People have no idea that's a, a major source of EMF in their life. Now, once you identify these, where you spend the most of the time, you have to reduce the exposure. How do you reduce the EMF exposure? You have to either disconnect, or remediate. Those are your two choices. How do you disconnect? I'm going to give you 12 steps to disconnect. Pay real close attention. Write these down. First, unplug your Wi-Fi. When you're not using your cell phone, you're not using your computer, unplug it. Un put it put your, un unplug the Wi-Fi, okay? You can also shut off your electricity at night. You can go to the circuit breaker. If anything that's not being used, just shut that off. Try it. Try it tonight. See how much, how much better you sleep. When you can shut off, uh, and, you know, as long as it's not, it's not shutting off power to some place that is extremely uh, is sensitive or important. Okay. Also, unplug your electric clock. Unplug your electric clock. The clock here, that's right next to your bed. You have to 
you can't have that right there. That's kicking out an EMF field. It's right by your head too. You don't want any, the, the cells in your brain are very delicate. Get rid of your microwave oven. I can't believe there's so many people that still use microwave ovens. I mean, for a few years we've known that this is not the way to cook food, shaking and vibrating. But by the way, that, that's, that's a thermal form of subatomic chaos. It shakes the living daylights out of food to heat it up, okay? So it's, they're both using the same frequency, 2.5 gigahertz, microwave ovens and EMFs. It's having that same subatomic effect. Just get rid of it. And then it's kicking out so many EMFs. People are standing in front of their microwave. Oh, look at the popcorn pop. Oh, this is really cool. <laughs> they're being exposed majorly to EMFs. Avoid smart appliances, the TVs, alarms, uh, Alexa. That's, you can't use those unless the Wi-Fi is on, unless it's wireless. Stop, use it, start plugging things in. You know, they get, if you have an alarm system company, have them wire it. You know why they do wireless? So much faster, so much easier, so much more cost effective. At what expense? Your health? Yes. Get rid of the cordless phones, get a corded phone. Don't use these corded, cordless phones and using, you're putting it by, you have to, you pretty much are using, most people when they use a cordless phone in their home, they say, well, it's not a cell phone. You know what, it's still kicking out EMFs. It's still creating some major uh, challenges to your, to your brain and to the cells in that area. Refuse smart meters. If you have a choice, say, I don't want the smart meter. I want the dumb meter. They call it smart meter so you won't question them. Oh, it's really smart. Well, I'm, I'm, gonna, actually, I'm gonna look stupid if I ask what the heck's in a smart meter. Uh, smart meters, what about all that wireless? It's kicking out some major sources of issues. And they'll say, oh, there's, there's no proven fact that uh, it causes problems. And you know what? He's right as far as that. And when we talked about uh, EMFs and the oscillating form, but as soon as it hits your body or the wall, boom, subatomic chaos. No wireless baby monitors. Think about this one. Your baby, your precious child. I have eight kids. They're all so precious to me. When they're young, their cells are de developing delicate. Hey, you don't want any wireless device next to your baby or in the room all night long going, kicking off, nor you don't want it by your bedstand. Don't have the wireless baby monitors. Replace CFL bulbs, condensed fluorescent lights. Those fluorescent lights, that letter's little spiral, those kick out some major EMFs. Go to incandescent or natural lighting. Cell phone, airplane mode. Put it on airplane mode. When you're not using your cell phone, people, they, take, they, turn up, they put it right in their pocket or they put it in their pocket, or they put it somewhere on their body, or even close to their body, within three feet. That's kicking, that's then. One, one x-ray, chest x-ray, per minute that you're using that, okay? So, put it on airplane mode, especially at night. Especially at night, that's the least thing you, give it out away, away from your, people are falling, to, they're going to, you're using their, their phone on all night, then they fall asleep with the Wi-Fi on, and they, the, it's under their pillow, or it's on their body. This is suicide. This is like going to sleep and having a chain smoker blown in your face all day long, all night long. Don't do that. Put it on airplane mode. Just better yet, get it out of the room. Turn it off, better yet. Just unplug. Get rid of electric blankets. Now, I'll tell you one thing right now. If you think you're gonna get a good night's sleep and you're using an electric blanket, forget about it. It ain't gonna happen. This is so much EMFs. That's gonna put your body in so much stress. Forget about it. It ain't gonna, get rid of the electric blanket. Just add a couple of extra blankets. Don't use the electric blankets. This is crazy. The, 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 the one patient who couldn't sleep, uh, you know, she had an electric blanket. I think she used it just to warm it up, but still, Anytime that you could have something, do you realize you can have something plugged into the wall, not turned on, but it's still emitting a current? Unplug it, get rid of it. Eliminate hair dryers. Hair dryers, those require tons of energy to oscillate. That's kicking out some major EMFs. Some people stand in that blow dryer all day long. Now, if you're a hair dryer, if, if, you're, um, if you work in a salon, you're a hairstylist, you better make remediate. You have no choice to use the hair dryer, right? You got to remediate your salon. You have to remediate that hair dryer so it's not affecting. You can take care of it. You just got to remediate it properly. But you have to. You're just using it all day long. This is why a lot of I have uh, uh, hairdressers that come in. They have all these problems with their upper body. Their all these EMFs are weakening that area, just making them more prone to pain and problems. Okay, those are the 12 steps. You all get that? This is very important. I hope you wrote those down. Now, how do you remediate? There's two options again. You can shield or harmonize, okay? Shielding, we talked a little bit about this. 
it's the the goal is to block EMF. So you put paint with metal uh, metal uh, metal in it, metal, so it's protecting you. Faraday canopy over the bed looks like that, or you can do that over your Wi-Fi, your cell phone. Just I put metal shielding in my walls, rewiring of electrical in the house. I put everything in metal clad so that the the, the magnetic fields wouldn't be kicked out from the from the wires. So that's one option. Uh, the other is harmonizing. By the way, the shielding, anytime you have metal, now the experts that are, they are proponents of shielding are going to totally rip into me in saying, in saying that, uh, what I'm about to say. But that metal is a conductivity, creates more conductivity of EMFs and actually accentu can accentuate things. On one hand, if you're on the other side of that, yes, it'll shield. It will shield. It will protect. Okay, but these magnetic fields, they go around. I mean, it's almost impossible to be, com the canopy bed there, uh, the, 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 think about that Faraday canopy. If you are not on an organic mattress, I have an all organic mattress, but if you're on, a, with, on box springs or there's metal inside your, on your mattress, that's not gonna do you any good because the metal from, unless you have some type of shielding on top of your mattress that's organic, you're not taking care of the springs that are inside. Now, I take that back. If it's blocking any, any uh, EMS from coming into that, yes, it will protect. But if there is some source of EMFs that is hitting the, uh, the metal on, the, on, the, um, on your box spring, then yeah, you're not, what about the grounding? What about, we talked about the metal plumbing. If you have metal plumbing, and it's coming through the floors, and it hits the springs. You're gonna that the canopy is not gonna protect you like you would with harmonizing. Okay, I know that I'm creating major controversy. Hey, I respect all the people that are shielding out there. I think shielding. I mean, it's it has its definite merits. Again, I spent almost twenty thousand to shield my house. I'm still glad I did because I'm remaining. I have best of both, but. Uh, it's not, it, there, there's another method, there's another way, and we're gonna talk about that right now, harmonizing. So harmonizing, the goal is to not block the, the EMFs, but to harmonize it so that when it uh, hits your body, it's not creating subatomic chaos anymore. And you use special devices that you can put on your circuit breaker, your cell phones, your laptops, your tablets, smart devices, you can wear it on your body, uh, you, you don't, block the EMS, but you're gonna harmonize it with your body. So those are the two basic schools of thought that you can use. And um, they're both good, they're both good, but harmonizing is better by far. Now, how can you prove harmonizing works? With the shielding, you can prove it works, right? You say, you go in with your meter, you say, mm, look at all this, look at all this uh, EMF pollution here. You put a metal shield there, let's recheck it now. Now it's not coming through the circuit board, right? I can prove that. However, you can't prove with a smart meter and you can't, you can't prove where other area sources are coming from if you don't test everywhere, but you can prove with the uh, harmonizing. Now, how do you prove it? You're not gonna prove it with the, with the meter. You're not gonna prove it with the meter because it doesn't block EMFs, but you can prove it through there's a couple of different ways. You, you, one is through, you can check it out on a uh, blood microscopy testing. Now this is so effective, they made it illegal, okay? So some people say, well, Dr. Taylor, that's not even legal to do it anymore. Yeah, well, they were getting really good results with it. So anything that's gonna be competitive with mainstream, they're gonna try to make it illegal. But you can see this, the cells before, and then the cells when they're exposed to EMF products is still the same, but what happens when without the product? We look at the very bottom slide. This is what happens to the cells. They start to agglutinate. They start to clump and form. And you get target cells, those little white cells in the middle. This is just two minutes standing a foot away from a smart meter. Same thing, look at the power lines. Two minutes of standing on our power line without any protection on your body. Look how the cells start to clump on the very bottom and the, the white target cells. Three minutes of stand, using your cell phone um, without a chip. Look at no product, the second to the bottom slide. See that, that clumping, the lining up? Now these, these red blood cells, 
are fitting once one at a time in the capillaries. How in the world are they going to fit in there when it's clumping? Is there any wonder why you have low energy? Is there any wonder why you have major issues with your immune system? Is there any wonder why your body's not working the way it should be and you're developing health conditions? This is what happens. Now, I talked about the mold here. Dr. Klinghart uh, showed this and demonstrated this, and you can do this with our products here. You put the Wi-Fi piece of bread right next to the Wi-Fi, in three days you're gonna see mold. When you put the remediation product underneath the bread, you won't see mold, it's protecting. In fact, 30 days later, Still no mold is observed, okay? This is what happens when your body is protected. Think about your body now. How many of you are dealing with candida infections, parasites, chronic issues with microbes damaging your body? Theoretically, when, these, when your EMFs are attacking the body, it's gonna be lowering the immune system, making you more susceptible. If it's affecting in bread, can that be happening in your body as well? How about EMF damage to your, uh, that's been proven with uh, thermal imaging testing? You can take a picture of thermal imaging with the cell chip after 10 minutes, after a 10 minute phone call with the cell chip, we see the top slide here, blue, green, low areas of uh, inflammation. Now look with no product, look how much, where all the red zone is, that's the inflammation that occurs when you're not using a cell, cell chip to protect you when you're using your phone. Uh, but the biggest one that I use is muscle test, muscle response testing. Now, I know so there's, if you're more, the, you have the, you have to have the hard science, and you're going to say, "Well, I don't believe any of that because you can't prove that in a laboratory." Well, you know what? It still works. Clinical evidence in uh, your body testing super strong when you're in a, in a room that's been remediated is night and day difference. And my patients, they don't care about science; they just want to get better. And we can prove that through muscle testing. With the phone, we, what we do is when they, our office, somebody comes in, I say, get your cell phone. We turn it on, we test them, it goes weak. Then we put our device on and protected the phone. Now the arm stays strong. Now the arm stays strong. Same with devices that you can put on your body or cards that you can wear in your pocket. Um, or just going in the, in the room. Once you remediate the room, you go in a room with somebody where there's tons of EMS, you test, you test their arm, they're gonna go weak. They're, they're gonna go weak. Here's a little test you can do. Just stand in, in your room or stand in a spot where you think there's a lot of EMFs and just close your eyes and see which way you lean. If you lean back, it's bad. If you lean forward, it's gonna be, it's gonna be good. You remediate, you go in a room without remediation, there's tons of wireless devices and things, you're gonna fall backwards every time, every time. Once you remediate it, you're gonna lean forward, okay? There's a little secret I gave to you that I give to my patients that you can kind of do for yourself if you're that intuitive type, but this stuff, is real. It's real. And you can't deny the effects that people feel once they get once they feel better. Um, so this is how the, the EMF creates chaos. It hits the wall, subatomic chaos. You're gonna feel lousy. But with the products, you get, you get harmonized. Now, ah, it's like peace. Peaceful in the room. Now, listen to my pa what my um, patient had to say here once we did a remediation. Right when you started putting that, um, that larger We could already feel like a difference with uh, the energy and once that whole room, the Pilates, the sauna is in the Pilates workout room and so you put the two devices also on the sauna and that whole room just was like, uh, like free. It just felt free and we felt, I think we were just like all laughing. It was like really weird. We were all laughing and we just felt like, uh, I don't know, like we felt like we had a lot of energy. This is what happens. You just have a lot of energy because you're freed up. You're, you you're not fighting. You're not fighting it anymore. You're not fighting it. This is it, we should do the remediation. It's immediate. So maximum protection is both disconnecting and remediating. Both disconnecting and remediating. That's a great combination. Now, if you remediate, you don't have to disconnect. So there are some people that are saying, "Hey, you know, I my." Uh, I have my Wi-Fi, I have to have it on all the time. Hey, no problem. Once you remediate, you can do that. Hey, I can't turn off the circuit breakers, you know? My, I, I, I have this device here, I have this unit here. I, have, I can't turn it off, I'm gonna have some major problems. No problem, once you remediate, you don't need to turn it off. However, if you do remediate, 
and you can unplug and turn things off, those remediating devices are now going to have an even a greater strengthening effect on lowering the EMFs in your home. It's your choice. It's best to disconnect and remediate. Here's a study. If a detrimental EMF exposure is reduced sufficiently, the body has a chance to recover and electromagnetic hypersensitivity symptoms will be reduced or even disappear. This is from, uh, this, this source is right there on the bottom. You reduce the EMFs, you're gonna reduce symptoms. It's amazing what I see what happens when you, when you start to do and follow the principles that I'm sharing here with you in this webinar. Now here's another patient. This is the patient that had a hard time with sleeping. So, uh, I forgot to mention, this is great if you have animals or pets. Your animals, are, they're being affected by the EMFs as well. They're gonna be, they're be they're her horse, we remediated her, the, the, the stall where the horse is in, the horse just loves going in that, the horse is so relaxed, it just is chilled out. And uh, this is amazing for everything, not just, your, not just yourself, but your family, your pets that are in the house, Again, it, when you're, she said you had to deal with allergies. Already she's starting to notice some improvement with allergies. When, you, when your body is stronger and the immune system is stronger, you're gonna be able to handle allergies. Now, one thing, I, one thing if you're not, once you start to remediate the home, I, I will give you a disclosure that sometimes uh, for, some, for many people, uh, maybe half, depends on how sick you are, you may start to feel worse initially because you're detoxing. Now your body has a chance to, instead of fighting the EMFs all day long, now it has a chance to heal. And this say, may say, hmm, let's see here. I wanna start cleaning out this, this organ here. Let's dump all these toxins over here. Uh, you may have diarrhea, okay? Because uh, uh, I, now you're try, trying to get rid of this parasite or this, uh, uh, this candida or this, these toxins in your gut. And so you may experience that and then we can help you with that. One of the things you can do is just take shots of apple cider vinegar, or you can take proteolytic enzymes, or you can take charcoal, or activated charcoal, or whatever you take. Uh, you may already know, you may have some things that work really well, but whatever you take whenever you detox, and let's say you're going on a detox program, you're starting to unload toxins, there's things that you can take, and we muscle test people to figure out to help them ride through those turbulent waters. But it's amazing what happens. But there, that is Kevin. If you don't want to detox, then don't do the remediation. You can shield, but don't do the remediation. But in the long run, remediation is gonna be the healthiest for you. So far you discovered what are EMFs, what health problems do they cause, and what you can do from being harmed from them. Get this one thing. EMFs are not only here to stay, but they're increasingly damaging your health and you must, must do all that you can to lower the negative effects they are having on your mind and your body. It's not just your body, but also your mind. Okay, get that one thing. You, you, you can't ignore this anymore. You can't bury your head in the sand, pretend it's not a problem. Oh, I'm gonna trust those scientists that say it doesn't create any problem. You know, you trust, you put your trust in the wrong health advisor, you're gonna have problems. And we see this, we see this with people. They put the, their trust in the wrong leader or the wrong advisor, 
and what happens you see the fruit of it it, it just leads it's going to lead to health problems uh, mark my words 10,000 studies to prove it's not just I'm not just making this up I'm not just saying this because I, this is my bent or my opinion this is there's science behind it in fact in the past 10 years EMF levels have increased over 1 million trillion times from 2007 to 2017 they did a study 1 million trillion times that was in 2000 up to 2017 from 2017 to 2020 it's increased even more with 4G and 5G and now 6 and 7G and beyond. They're trying to launch 20,000 satellites into space. This is bad. It's just going to get worse. You have to be protected. So now that you've heard this inf information, it's up to you. Do your own research. Don't trust me. Don't just look what I said. Every slide you can look at it, you can, you can see. Do the research yourself. See if I'm telling the truth or not. It's like that, those people that try to do this, ten, the, the government that try to do this 10 year study proving that cell phones didn't cause cancer. Well, they found out that it did. If you're really a truth seeker, you really want to know the truth, do the research yourself, okay? Forget, forget about me. Just think about, look at, look at this and check it out yourself. And you decide whether you think it's worth protecting yourself from the damaging effects of EMFs. So you have two choices basically now. You can sign off of this webinar and do nothing different. Or you can be proactive in your fight against the EMFs. You know what? I urge you, be proactive. Be proactive. It's so much harder to take care of a health problem later on down the line after you're all messed up and after you're dealing with this, the actual condition. Prevention is so much better. That's why I'm doing this webinar. We're trying to help prevent a, a problem here for you. Uh, what should I do if I want to be proactive against EMF? Somebody asked me that question. That's why I'm going to put this. That's why I put this in the slide here. What can you do? Well, number one, get educated. Like I said, write this this uh, this web website down. 5G space appeal. Go to this website and read for yourself. Scientists around the world they put this website here together. They're trying to stop the 5G. Trying to put more satellites in the space because I'm telling you, it's going to destroy not just your health, but it's going to destroy our planet. It affects plant life, animal life, all forms of life. It's just radiation bombarding. You're not going to be able to escape. They're trying to get it so the satellites are being bombarding you from the sky. You used to be able to go to the beach, the desert, the mountains, to Yosemite, someplace to get away from EMFs. But when they put these satellites, they're, they're trying to cover the entire earth with this here. So there's nowhere you're going to be able to escape. We need to be aware of this. We need to fight against this. We have freedoms right now that we need to be fighting for. You can't sit back and put, bury your head in the sand and pretend it's not a problem. At least sign the petition. And if you don't agree with the petition, well, you really shouldn't be on this webinar, okay? You're, you're, if you're just trying to prove that you have your own agenda, you're not, you're not a truth seeker. Well, uh, the fact that you're, you're listening to, you listen to this, those, to this this far, my guess is you're a truth seeker and you're a freedom fighter and you're gonna wanna do what's right and sign the petition to, to prevent them from doing this. Hey, we can wait a little bit longer. We can wait a little bit longer for our, our movies on Netflix to not download 30 seconds quicker, okay? Is, is it really worth it putting 6G, 7G, 10G, just so we, we can have faster technology, just so we can play our video games a little faster, just so that we can download our movies a little quicker? We're entertaining ourselves to death. Come on now. All right, bare minimum. You need to at least unplug your wireless devices at night, as mentioned earlier in this webinar. I gave you 12 steps. If you didn't pay, if you didn't pay attention, go back to the part in the, in the video and watch that. Unplug at least, bare minimum. It's not gonna cost you a thing, okay? Maybe a little bit of your time unplugging things, but devices, anything that's plugged in, even though it may not be on, is still emitting the field, okay? Now, if you want maximum protection, you gotta disconnect and remediate. At least remediate. You can remediate. You don't, once you remediate, you don't have to disconnect. If you forget, you fall asleep, hey, at least you're protected. But if you want maximum, like I'm saying, you want to both disconnect and remediate. Now, there are some people that may have more questions. I gave a webinar on this earlier. I answered people's questions. This is now going to be on a YouTube video. So if you have more questions, um, I'm here to answer your questions. I, I'm here. I, I may take me uh, may more than 24 hours to get back with you. If I have the time, I'll answer it quickly. It'll go to my staff and we can answer your questions. Uh, uh, we, there's two ways, but for those of you that are want to take even further action, we can answer your questions via e uh, email or we'll offer a 10 minute EMF call to determine what EMS may be causing your health issues. Now, I'll let you know, you have to fill out a brief questionnaire. I don't want just somebody that's gonna 
want to set up a time to debate me on EMFs are not harmful or I didn't like what you had to say on this. On, okay, I, I don't want, I don't have time for that. Okay, I'm, I'm doing this for people that truly have a health issue or have some major concerns or they want to know what they can do. I'm here for you. I want to be able to help you out. Okay, I'll, I'll, and I'll take a 10 minutes out of my time. Okay, it, it may not be, it may be depending on the call, you may have to wait two weeks or you may have to wait some time or maybe to get you in right away if I have time or space. This is, I'm just doing this out of the goodness of my heart. Not, there's no charge for this, okay? So just understand, just be patient with me. We're not gonna be, I have a busy practice. I have, again, eight kids. I have a busy practice taking care of patients and other people. So, but we'll do this here for you, okay? And there's, there's absolutely no charge, no strings attached. I'm not gonna try to sell you anything, all right? I'm just gonna, uh, if you wanna remediate, fine. I have, we have the greatest products in the world. If you want to take it to the next level, we can talk about that and schedule even a further phone call. But my goal is just to educate, to help you out. If I can help one person prevent them from getting cancer, this whole webinar, this whole phone call, everything is all worth it. It's all worth it. I'm, I'm so sick of getting the news and hearing that, oh, so-and-so uh, just came down with cancer, just found that about someone very close to me, very dear to my heart, just found out that two days ago. Hey, they found out they have um, a tumor uh, by the pancreas here okay and it was just so so disturbing and and this this is the what fuels me to make this and to educate people on the emfs because they are causing major major health problems you got to take some type of action they are having a negative effect on your mind and your body uh i want to leave with this this my patient here uh okay, margaret tell us about your experience with the emfs there what were you experiencing in your home before we remediated hated the summer coming because I thought I suffered from the humidity and I watched the, the weather daily, twice a day because of the pressure in my head would get worse and I'd feel absolutely dreadful. But once Dr. Taylor came and fitted all the IMF, I'm 100% better. No headaches, no pressure. I am sleeping better. I feel 100% better. Much more relief. What a wonderful Absolutely wonderful. And how about your husband? How does he feel? He feels wonderful too. He noticed the difference right away. Dr. Taylor did our bedroom first because we had so many devices and we didn't want to leave the bedroom. But now he's come back and done the whole of the house. It is wonderful to be indoors and not experience the terrible pressure, which I thought was humidity, but it was not. And how long, how long do you have that pressure for? I'm going to say 10 to 12 years. Oh, okay. Absolutely. Now imagine having a pressure in your head for 10 to 12 years, going to all these doctors trying to solve it, and all you needed really is just to reduce the EMFs there in the home. We did her, her and her husband's their, their bedroom first, uh, and I did it in two stages. We did the bedroom first, and it was so amazing walking in that bedroom. They didn't want to leave the bedroom. That's what she just said. And uh, then we came back and did the whole house. It's like night and day. Their health is transformed overnight. In fact, the more sensitive you are to EMFs, the more transformation you see, the more immediate results that you typically feel when you remediate the home. So the question is, uh, what are you gonna do with that, this information? If you wanna take it to the net, I hope this webinar has been helpful. I hope it's been, uh, it's been proved to be beneficial to you. And uh, I hope you take the action steps that I, I share with you to do it. If, you're, if you do have a health issue and you wanna find out a little bit more, you wanna go a little bit deeper, um, you can call, email us at uh, info at uh, to try to schedule a, a, a 10 minute EMF call with my staff or you can call our office and we can do that for you as well. I hope this has been helpful and we'll see you on the next webinar. This is Dr. Taylor signing off.